Let's think back to Netflix. DVD by mail. Blockbuster is the gold standard. They have 4,000 things in their store that they rent. 90% of what they rent comes from what's called the new release wall. And the core thesis in the marketplace is that what consumers want are new releases. Netflix has this revolutionary view that that's not true. The middle of the store, which has thousands of DVDs, is just, you know, too imposing to actually flip through. Okay, so 90% of what Blockbuster rents is new release. 30% of what Netflix rents is new release, and 70% is catalog. It actually, for the first time ever, creates a catalog in the home video marketplace. In the process of doing that, it developed an understanding of what Ben likes. It's different from what Harry likes. And when you come to the website, the content that it serves you is what Netflix thinks you like. Okay, if it's really true that I know what you like, I can begin to shift demand. If I have a limited number of suppliers and one of them is charging me a lot for my content and one of them is charging me a little for my content, let's do Universal and Warner by way of example. Let's make this specific. Universal thinks that the way it maximizes its profit is by maximizing its profit margin. And so its cost per movie is pretty expensive. But Warner takes a different strategic approach. They think the way they maximize their profit is by lowering the cost of their content and making it cheaper for you to buy. And if it's cheaper for you to buy, you will buy a disproportionately large percentage percentage of it. What happens now, that strategy only works for someone like Netflix if they're able to demand shift you from a universal title to a Warner title without sacrificing your satisfaction. And as it turns out, there are a ton of movies that can demand shift you to because they do know what you like.